Hello and welcome. In this video we're talking about the hidden features of Beta Flight 3.3. So what are hidden features? Hidden features are adjustable features, but they are not displayed in the configurator. They are only accessible via the command line interface, abbreviated CLI. So you have to know that they exist. Crash recovery is already available since Beta Flight 3.2, but the feature has not yet made it into the configurator. The default setting is still set to disabled in 3.3. What does it do? In case of a collision, the flight controller briefly switches into auto level mode. This will eventually recover the copter from uncontrolled spinning after a crash. And it gives the pilot the time to take control again. The accelerometer must be turned on for this feature to work, and there is a number of parameters to play around with, but I won't go into the details at this point. Also not new is the CPU overclock. With this option, the CPU clock rate can be increased. In previous versions there was only on or off. With beta flight 3.3 there are several frequencies to choose from. Overclocking reduces the load and decreases the cycle time. Therefore, features can be activated, which would have taken up too much resources with normal CPU frequencies. The overclocking may lead to system instability or even fry the CPU. Another feature is the runaway takeoff prevention, sometimes called TAS mode. The flight controller recognizes whether the copter is taking off properly by analyzing the PID values. If the values show abnormal behavior, the flight controller will detect that. Possible triggers are props in the wrong direction, motor position or direction wrong, or the flight controller is heading in the wrong direction. If the runaway takeoff prevention is turned on, the flight controller automatically disarms in any of those cases. This may prevent damage or even injury. It's a great feature especially for beginners. For those who fly according to the European regulations, you don't have to worry about the VTX low power disarm. This feature throttles a VTX to 25mW. The VTX has to be connected via smart audio though. Only when a copter is armed, the power is raised to the set power, for example 800mW with the TBS Unify. The power reduction prevents disturbing the neighbors and overheating. There are already enough videos for the not Kalman and BQRCF2 filters. It's important to know, they are only relevant with gyro update frequencies above 8kHz. So if you don't have a gyro that supports this, such as a MPU6500, you don't need to worry about that. The low pass and notch filters will do fine. On the other hand, the configuration has become very easy. I'll talk about the filters in another video. These were the most interesting hidden features of Beta Flight 3.3. If it was informative and helpful for you, I'm happy about thumbs up. And if you enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel, there's more to come.